Yo, 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 it's your boy, RPK in the building, and if you're watching this, it's because you're not a what, a what, a what, a pee-wee. Listen, I just, just literally just got in the house back from work, and this has just been on my heart to talk about, you feel me? It's a couple things, really. I'm going to talk about self-love, uh-oh, cliche alert, boom. And number two, which is a really big thing, I'm going to talk about a placement that is a that is a very challenging placement, but if you work with it, it can lead to a lot of it can lead to a lot of enlightenment, as other placements will do, right? And I have this placement, by the way, Pluto and Scorpio in the twelfth house. This is a very, very, very intense placement. A lot of lot of um, a lot of darkness dwells here, because you know, the, uh, of course, the twelfth house rules the subconscious, and you know, your it's your subconscious. Um, your subconscious fears, things that you, you really don't want to talk about, things that you keep hidden from people, things that you are very secretive about, you know what I'm saying? Things that you keep private, you know what I mean? And I thought of some things that helped me out. So a lot of times, you know, when I get depressed, I have all my lights on in my house. I mean, light, all my lights off in my house and I'll just be sitting in my, I'll be sitting in my room just quiet and just, boom, just, just stressed out, right? And what I kind of got from that is, or for the, and this is not just for people who have Pluto or Scorpio in 12th house, just any planets in the 12th house or just any people that struggle with depression and, 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 and not caring about themselves and feeling like they're the only person that's going through what they're going through. You feel me? This is for all y'all. You, whether you got Scorpio rising or whatever, this is just general speaking, you know? Um, what I found is when you turn all them lights off in your room, you face that darkness, right? or in your house or wherever you may be, you, you turn all the lights off and you sit in that darkness, right? What I want you to sit there and say to yourself is that I'm okay with this darkness because a lot of times you, we're not okay with that darkness. That's why we try to watch videos and we do all this stuff to, to get away from how we truly feel. You feel me? Um, and we, and like I said, we just go around masquerading and acting like everything's okay when it's not. It's because you haven't learned to accept the dark side of yourself. Accept that shadow side of yourself. When you're doing shadow work, it can be beautiful, but a lot of times it's ugly. This is ugly work because you are going in cleaning up the debris from your childhood, you feel me? Things that, not even just from your childhood, if you believe in past lives like I do, even even, even drama from past lives and darkness from past lives or or cleaning up, you, you're cleaning up generational trauma from your family that they picked up from whatever they were doing, whatever your ancestors were involved in, you feel me? So but when you're dealing with this and you're dealing with this depression and things like that, and you're sitting alone in the dark, I want you to say that I'm okay with this. I'm okay with facing this. I'm, I'm okay with accessing this part of my mind. And when you say that, I want you to say that, and I want you to take a breath, and I want you to be quiet, and I want you to really think about what you just said, and then... What I want you to do, I want you to, I want you to name those things off that are dark. So I want you to say, I'm okay with these things, and I want you to name these things off in the dark. You can really do either one flip-flop. You can name the things, and then you, you can say, oh, I'm okay with this. Name everything that's dark. Everything that you went through that's the, the darkest things. This is part of the Pluto power-up, too, by the way. So name everything that's dark. And I want you to say, I went through this and this, that, and the third. And I, just want, I want you to say, it's okay. I'm facing it. I'm fine with this. And then I, what I want you to do is, and it's a psychological thing. This is something, this is, psycho, this is a psychological thing. Turn the lights on. And then I want you to say everything that you was, that, that is dark about that you, what you went through. And I want you to say, it's now in the light. And I no longer have to hide this part about me. That's powerful. It's powerful. Trust me. Try it. Try it. It's powerful. In the dark, say all the dark stuff that's happened to you. Name it. If you got to cry, cry. Say it. It's okay. Cry. Face it. And then say, I'm okay with this. Or you can say, I'm okay with all these things. And then you can say, like I say, you can flip flop or however you want to do it. But then after you do that, turn the lights on and say, now these things are now allowed, are now allowed to have light are now in the light. They're not in the dark anymore. 
for a lot of people struggling with depression, a lot of people struggling with not want, even wanting to be here no more, I know how you feel because I've been there multiple times. With me having this placement in my head, those thoughts run through my head. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and act like I'm holier than thou. When I'm just a teacher and I know whatever, no. Those thoughts run through my head when I'm going through deep shadow work and I'm facing stuff and I'm like, man, I'm going to just do this to get my mind off this, do that. And then I say, no. Oh, man, you think them voices go away? Nah, you shouldn't even be here. You ain't worthy. Why? You might as well end it right now. You might as well get, get the fuck out of here. You're not worthy. You trash. Nobody loves you. I had all these thoughts going through my head, man. All of these things that make me feel like I'm less than. And I'm like, damn, let me turn my light on, man. I want to get all the way real with y'all. I don't know why the, why the light just went off, just got weird or whatever, but hey. But back to what I was saying, I have all these thoughts in my head telling me I'm not worthy. All the, all, everything. I deal with it on a daily basis. This past month, I've been doing nothing damn near but shadow work. Sometimes barely eating. Sometimes barely, barely, um, barely sleeping. I'm not going to lie to y'all. I've been getting low, out low. Lately, it's just in vivid dreams, all that stuff. You know what I'm saying? That just goes with Pluto, Scorpio, and 12th house, bro. You got to surrender. And I'm working on that, working on surrendering to the higher power because there's so much stuff, even past me, generational trauma, things that, the things around me, the, uh, the, uh, the uh, collective consciousness, the, the feeling so many people's feelings that I probably never, that I've never even met before. All these things going through on top of the trauma that I've gone through, and it's not a woe is me story. I'm just telling y'all, mom. I'm just telling y'all what I what I go through, and what I've done to help myself. But I digress. I got a little bit off point. I want you, like I said, to be in that dark, and I want you to I want you to say I'm okay with all these things, or you know, name the things and then say you're okay with them, and then I want you to turn the light on and say now all these things are in the light. Not all these things are allowed to have a voice. So now you can heal from them. The key is to surrender. The key is to surrender to, to whatever voice you, to whatever, to whatever those, to whatever the, that inclination in your heart is telling you to face this, surrender to that voice. Because think about it. Whenever you have a trigger, whenever you have something that hits you in your heart and makes you like want to run away, you got to understand it's not, it's hitting you to come out of you. It's trying to heal you. The universe is not conspiring, conspiring. To, to hurt you. God wants you to grow. God wants you to be who you who you want to be. You're who I, whoever you believe in. They want you to be who you're supposed to be. Your spirit guides, they they are helping you along the way. They're not they're not you're not going through these things just to be like, oh yeah, we just like messing with him. We like messing with her. No, it's for your greatest good. And this goes into my um this goes into my topic about self love. Um when it comes to self love, right? We have to learn, no matter if you're ready or not, you need to make a decision right now that from now on, I'm going to respect myself and love myself as I am. Understand that anybody that you, that any, any situation that you felt was like, oh, I love this person and they're just so great. You got to understand this. You can create that situation again. I'm not, I'm not saying people are just disposable and forget people. We all humans are all having this human experience as spiritual beings, but you need to understand anything that you can create, anything that you create that, that first time, you can create that multiple times again. So what I'm saying is that, say, for example, you meet a person and you really like, you really like them and you like them to the point where my code, my people who deal with codependency, y'all understand what I'm talking about. You meet this person, you just put them on this huge pedestal and then that person starts acting funny or, and then, or that person may start acting funny and then want to leave. You got to understand this. You can create them situations over and over again. And that's not just with relationships. This is with jobs. This is with, this is with anything in life that you are afraid to lose. Understand that the universe is abundant. You're not losing out on anything. I'm telling you, anything that leaves is just making room for you to grow and for to elevate to a higher level. And then you can meet another person. You can get that extra job. You can get that new mindset, but you're going to have to pull away from that old version of you that is always seeking excuses, is always saying it's somebody else's fault for your stuff. You didn't choose your childhood, but you can, but you can choose right now to be better. I'm not trying to quote unquote motivate you. I'm just, I'm no. I, I am trying to motivate you. I want to motivate you to get better. I want to motivate you to get off your and really do something. I want to motivate. And, and when I say this, bro, I want you, man, I, when I say I love y'all, this, I'm not just talking out my, my rear end, bro. I'm not talking out my rear end. I love y'all and I want y'all to be better. 
than you were yesterday. I don't want you. I, I don't want you questioning your self worth. Your worth is not based on somebody's inability or ability to see it. You need to understand that. I want you to make that law. I want you to make this law. If you didn't, if you didn't get nothing from this video, number one, face your darkness. Do what I said with the lights and turn them back on. And now say, everything that I just named off is now in the light. It has a voice. Number one. And then number two, I want you to make it law where if there is if there is an individual or if there is a situation and you find yourself in an area or if you find yourself in a situation or area around around a person, this, that, and the third, whether it be romantic, friendship, whatever it may be, and they start disrespecting your 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 morals and values and your boundaries, you have to move on. Law. I don't care how you feel. Well, I care how you feel, but I care. I care how you feel, but at the same time, I want you to be better. So, I'll, nah, you need to make a decision that I'm going to leave. Because I'm trying not to be so, I'm trying not to be so, uh, like, abrasive and say, no, leave. No, you need to leave. Leave for your respect. That goes with all areas of life. It's not just romantic relationships. Everybody like to talk about that, but I'm talking about everything. Everything, if it is if it is disrespecting your morals and values, and your boundaries, respect yourself enough to move on. Face it, face it. If you're staying in situations that are making you feel like crap, it's because you're choosing that. I don't know who else who this is supposed to reach. Face your darkness, and love yourself unconditionally. 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 It's unconditional. Unconditional. Yeah. No. No. I don't care what you went through. I don't care what they did to you. This, that, and the third. I don't care. Did your mom emotionally abandoned you. I care, but I don't care. I don't care. I care more about how you feel about you. You didn't choose that. You didn't choose that. But now you can choose to make a better, a better situation for yourself. No one's coming to save you. That's the biggest thing. No one's coming to save you. You have your guides, but no one's coming to save you. No one's coming to pat you on your back no more. You got to pat yourself on your own back. A lot of y'all are the black sheep of your family, and you're wondering why, why this is going on. That's why. You're the black sheep. Now it's time to go. It's time to go up. It's time to glow up. Tap in. Face the darkness. All of it. Surrender to it. If you're having problems with surrendering to it, it's okay. Take it one day at a time. We got to do shadow work. If you got multiple Pluto, Pluto placements, congratulations. You're going to be transforming multiple times. So you're going to have to do shadow work. There's no way you can run away from transformation. You can try to run away. You'll just destroy yourself. But I know you're better than that. I already know you're not going to do that. I know you're going to face yourself. I know it. I can feel it. You're going to face yourself. Tap in. Let's get busy. It's your boy RBK in a building. If you watch this all the way, it's because you're not a P way way. Okay? Come on now. Tap in. I love y'all, man. Let's go.